Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. We're doing something super fun. I am trying my very first foundation stick ever. I cannot recall a time that I ever tried a foundation stick and you're probably thinking, where has this girl been? Apparently I've been under a rock. Just kidding. Jokes aside, I normally go for liquids. I love mineral makeup, uh, even pressed powder, compacts, just for quick throwing on something to head out the house. I don't ever really go towards foundation sticks just because I never really thought that they would work with my combination. I do get kind of oily in the T-zone. I have a little bit of dryness here and there. So I just thought maybe it's not the right formulation for me. But this brand has been one that I have thoroughly enjoyed over the years and I sort of circled back around to this brand a few years back learning how to properly use their minerals. And I'm talking about Bare Minerals. They have the Complexion Rescue Hydrating Stick Foundation. This has been out for a few months now. It's been on my radar for some time and I thought if I'm going to try one, why not be from a brand that I have used products from before and really enjoy them. So I figured why not do it on camera and share with you guys my first impressions, maybe even do a check-in a little bit down the line and see how it works throughout the day with my skin. Um, for skin prep, I will tell you everything is going to be listed down below. I just have the Dr. Robux, no worries, moisturizer on and then a little bit of eye cream. I also did put on the Too Faced uh, Replenishing Primer. It's the Hangover one and it's a silicone free one which I think will work really good with this that's a water based formula. And it's got coconut water and um, Skin Revivers probiotic based ingredients. Really good. I'm using this little small one before I go and buy um, another one because I did run out of my full size. I also have the spray. Works really great but this is what I have as my primer. And I chose the shade 1.5 Birch. And I'm hoping that it actually works and it says it's a hydrating foundation stick with SPF 25 and it tells you at the bottom of the tube and I like the packaging. It's just very basic and simple. I'm also going to be using my new Real Techniques sponge. This one is the one that I showed in my haul video. It's the microfiber so it's got like a velvet finish to it. It's really, really cool. And I'm hoping that this works with the foundation. If not, I also have a brush, the Bare Minerals precision face brush that I've had for a few years. It's a really nice brush, super soft, so I may do a half and half, who knows. So let's go ahead and get into this and see if this is gonna work for me. Oh yeah, it feels, it feels quite cooling and it kind of glides like, I don't know why I'm smelling it, it doesn't really have a smell, but it kind of feels very cooling and very soft. So we're gonna just do three swipes here and one here. So I'm using this sponge to blend this out and it feels a little bit harder and a little bit more firm than the regular orange sponge. I don't know. So I'm gonna do half with this and maybe it's because this is um, not super damp. I feel like it's hard to get it more damp um, than the orange sponge that I'm used to. I don't know about this. I'm gonna use their brush, the Precision. Yeah, it doesn't have a smell. I keep thinking that there's gonna be a scent to it, but there isn't. Um, I feel like this brush really did blend it out much better, in my opinion. I feel like the coverage might be a little bit lighter with the brush, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I think it feels really cooling. It feels quite nice. I think you have to kind of work with this pretty quickly after applying it instead of just kind of letting it hang out. I did for my thumbnail and I think that's kind of why it was a little bit challenging to blend out. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more down my nose and a little bit on my forehead. So I do think that I prefer it better with the brush. I think the brush works. And the color seems to be okay. The color is probably a little light. I probably should have gone up a shade, so that's okay. I'd rather it be too light than too dark. I'm going to add more to this left side, and I'm going to use the brush to add more coverage because I just didn't like the way it looked with the sponge. All right, so my first impression um, is it's just okay at the moment. I don't think that it is 
that great to convert me from wearing liquids or using liquids to using a stick. Now it looks a little light in this lighting, but when I went to my bedroom where the sunlight is, it looks a little bit more like it matches. So the color I can deal with, um, it's clinging a little bit to this area here where it seems a little dry. Um, it feels moisturizing, which is a good thing. Um, I feel like as I'm blending these areas where it looks like it's clinging to dryness, I feel like it, it's blending out better with my fingers. So this might be something that might work better with the warmth of um, my hands to kind of melt the product into my skin instead of it just kind of sitting. I will say that this microfiber Real Technique sponge and that stick foundation do not work. They do not mix and blend well together. They don't play nice. <laughs> so I think that this might just be as it's intended for powder only. Uh, I thought, why not try it for liquids or foundation? May have to use it with my Physician's Formula Foundation, which is more liquid than this stick to see if this is gonna work because this might just be a powder thing. The texture feels quite nice and super soft, but it doesn't work very well with that stick. And I think that my hands is probably better for that foundation. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Serum Concealer, which looks like this. And I have it in the shade Fair, and I'm gonna use this as my under eye concealer. And then I'm gonna do my bronzer and then go on about my business. I might set this with a little bit of translucent powder, not sure yet. Shadows. I'm super excited about this part. Um, I'm going to be using the set from Nude Sticks that I got during the VIB sale. It comes with three eyeshadow sticks and this is what they look like. They're all metallic finish. So you get three really good sizes. I have the smoke shade, which is like a deeper smoky shade color. The burnish, which is more of a bronzy color. It's really, really beautiful. And the nudity, which is more of a rose gold. It's the lightest of the three. I have used Burnish and Nudity quite a bit since I got them, and I'm going to do the Smoke today because I want something a little bit darker. I figured, why not? So I start really close to the root of the lash, and you can also use this as eyeliner. And so I'm going to scribble this on, and then with my ring finger, I'm going to blend this out. And it's so pretty, and it's just an easy look for every day. I mean, I don't normally do powder eyeshadows every day just because it's it's a lot. <laughs> when you have a little baby, you try to get done with your routine as quick as possible, but you also want to look put together. And now with these, it couldn't be easier. And there's no reason for me not to throw on a little bit of eyeshadow. If I'm doing mascara already, if I'm doing that, I might as well just take two seconds to slap on some cream shadow, right? And then I'm going to take a little bit more right here on the lid just to kind of intensify this because it is a metallic finish and I want to keep that. As you blend it out with the brush, it won't be as pigmented or as metallic looking. So if you want to go back, you can and kind of layer just a little bit more. Take a little bit with my brush and go on the lower lash line. Just to add a little bit of something, I don't want it to be too dark down there because this is, again, a quick and easy look. And then for a little bit of eyeliner, I'm going to take the NYX, the slide-on pencils. These are an old favorite of mine. I used to use these many years back when they first came out. I bought every single color. These are a dupe for the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. And I'm going to take the black shade. It's called Jet Black. And I'm going to tight line with this first. So really close to the root of the lash, I'm gonna get a little bit on there. Just really fine, thinnest line that I can possibly get. And then I'm gonna take a brush, a small little detail brush, and I'm going to smudge that. Now you can also use your finger too. So I'm gonna do a couple good coats of this, or just two coats. As far as the foundation, the stick here, I have to kind of Try it a little bit more. I feel like with the setting powder that I did just a little bit, I feel like it helped 
with blending my powder products. I feel like everything looks really well blended. The coverage is nice. I would say the coverage is more light to medium. I don't see this as being full, and that's okay for me personally because I would rather have something that's more lightweight, something that I can build up to a medium finish. I don't do full coverage every single day. I don't feel like personally I need to. As a mom, I just want something quick and easy, something that I could just throw on really quickly, make my skin look really even, put on the rest of my makeup, and basically put my face on for the day and then be out the door. Probably do a check in here in a little while, in a couple hours towards the end of the day. Um, maybe when I get home from picking up my son from school, probably is most likely what's gonna end up happening and I will show you what it looks like and then I will give you my final thoughts. But so far, my first impression is it's an okay formula. Um, and didn't knock my socks off, but that can always change. So I'll see you guys in the All right guys, so we are back in the bathroom again. It's been about five hours, so it's a little after three. It's almost 3.30 and I've been wearing this foundation since about 10.30 this morning. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I thought it would be a little bit more dewy looking because of the fact that um, it is a hydrating formula and it's so creamy when it went on, but honestly, it's been wearing pretty well. I haven't touched up whatsoever. So some of the glow that you're seeing is highlight. And then some of it like in the center of my forehead is a little bit dewiness from the foundation just with my natural oils of my skin. Um, the T-zone center region is usually a little bit more oily for me than other parts of my face. So I expect it to be a lot shinier than I am right now, so it doesn't look bad. I mean, you can still see imperfections and things on my face because it's a light to medium coverage. It's not full coverage. It's not meant to completely cover everything. So this is more for those who want a very light, minimal makeup. It feels like I'm wearing nothing on my skin, which is really great. Um, and so it doesn't look too bad. I think I can go a few more hours before I feel like I should blot. And you guys can see I mean, it just looks really fresh and really dewy, so I do feel like I could probably get away with it like this without having to put a lot of powder and without having to do touch-ups, and here we are five hours later, and it still looks pretty decent, so I am so far happy with it. All right, so this is what my face looks like after wearing it for nine and a half hours. This was almost 8 p.m., and I was about to wash my face, and as you can see on the cheek, there's a little spot that's missing the foundation, but I do have small little baby hands touching my face, and that could have been the reason why, so I'm not going to fault the foundation. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. I know the lights in my bathroom are pretty bright bright but I wanted to show it to you before I took my makeup off I didn't do any audio or actual voice things with the clip unfortunately because um, my daughter was asleep but this is what it looks like and I'm actually really impressed with it I'm going to keep trying it and see if my opinions change in the future I hope you found it helpful for those of you who are curious about it and thought it maybe you thought it was fun to see me use a foundation stick for the first time because it felt a little bit weird and awkward using it because I'm not used to it but I may try other stick foundations. You never know. I may be converted over to the stick foundation world. So I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video. You can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. You guys already know where to find me. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.